Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. Today we are down here with the lovely guys from Seawood Marine to have a look at the Seawood 42. Now, this is the kind of boat that you buy if you want to go places. They do a 39 version of this as well, a slightly smaller version, and they build all of these right the way down to the Seawood 25 on the Isle of Wight, so very much a British boat. Based, if you know anything about boating, on a very, very famous Nelson hull, so that it's a, it's a well-proven, very capable sea-keeping hull. And a little bit of proof about the, the fact this is a go-anywhere boat. So see those domes on the outside? They are the air intakes for the engine bay, and the idea with them is that they're designed with little flaps. If water tries to go up, the flaps close and keep the water out of the engine bay. Add into that this fantastically bulbous and functional D fender strip that runs not only around the hull but also around the top of the deck joint as well. And then add into that these beautiful functional bollards for mooring. So not cleats but actual bollards, fair lead and then a deck that's designed to throw water back out the side to the extent that look even here there's almost like a, a lip to stop the water going in. But know, I've jumped a little bit ahead of myself. So start on the bathing platform. All of these boats are bespoke built so you can pretty much have whatever you want. So in this version we're going to see it as this exact owner because this is an owner's boat how they spec'd it. So nice big locking sea door, swim ladder platform so you can get in and out of the bathing platform which then is an extension of the hull. That takes us forward to the cockpit area. So we're just going to do a quick spin round. Now in this example, as I say, you can have what you want, but in this example, you've got the side deck that runs the whole way aft on both sides. You can have this aft cockpit going right out to the side if you want to. So that gives you a slightly bigger cockpit space. But even here, you've got a nice dinette there, nice seating all the way around, storage under all of these. Lazarette down here. Now, again, we're on a boat show, so the engine bay and the lazarette is absolutely jammed full of stuff. But there's a conventional catch, but you've also got the Lumar lock, so you can effectively lock this tight, so if you get water on board, it's not going to find its way down into the lazarette, and equally exactly the same, it won't find its way down into the engine bay. If you want to go forward, it's pretty straightforward. Step over the side here. There are no outside rails, but there's this fantastically sturdy grab rail that takes you all the way around the side decks, right the way around, almost like a pilot boat function, until you get to the very front. Then there is a pool pit here. And again, fair leads, lovely, chunky, solid bollards, anchor winch. You'll notice you can't access the anchor locker here, but we'll come back to that later. A lovely stainless steel anchor. And the very, I don't know how well you can notice this, but the whole deck space comes up to a point so here we're standing very very high up almost looking over the top of the boat and the reason for that is to make sure that the water drains off the boat as you go along or as the water you know you take a wave actually we won't go that way we should go this side but again very functional open array radar there you've got a couple of lot, um, hatches in the Ford in the superstructure and then your VHF uh, masts there as well I'm just going to walk myself back down here. Back on board again, lovely grab handle here. A couple of steps takes you in, back into this really safe feeling cockpit area. And now we're gonna move forward into the saloon via this fabulous C-type door. And there is just, let's have a quick peek. Oh, there you go, I did say it's full of stuff. This boat is very much designed to go places. I think it's been around the top of Scotland, across the North Sea and over to Norway as well. So again, because they are a bespoke builder, they build around 10 boats a year and probably around two of these 39 to 42 versions. So you can have the layout exactly as you like. And so this is very much how this boat's owner has chosen to have it. So very practical dinette over on the starboard side. And again, there's storage underneath, chart drawer here. Table, as you can see nice very very warm dry place to be when the weather's not very nice and then you've got storage over here now you could if you want to have this as a galley but in this instance the owner's got it as basically just a sort of sideboard effect glasses in there and all the woodwork is done in-house so all of this lovely woodwork even the way they've steamed bended this entire 
combing around the top of that sideboard is all done in-house. So then if we take a step or a couple of steps forward, you can see there's a helm station on the port side and navigators or companion seat on the starboard side. These are both shock mitigation seats, so they're designed to bounce up and down with you rather than help or having your spine bottom out when you hit the bottom of a wave. Now we're in here, I go over here, you can see those two hatches. Now obviously more important on this boat than anything else. So if you're going into a really bad sea, you're going to want the aft door closed. You're probably going to want the windows closed as well, but you can vent these a little bit at the back. So any water that does come over the boat will go past them. In the same vein, these side windows are ceiling windows. So as you shut this mechanism off here, it actually pressurizes the glass against the seal to make sure it's completely watertight. So sorry, back to the helm station. This wheel can, you can have in, a, in an upright steering position or you can drop it down so it's vertical so you can effectively stand in this space and steer because here you've then got really good access or visibility forward and good access to be able to just grab the throttles and th move them backwards and forwards as you're going. You'll also notice, again bearing in mind that Seaward are, are a traditional boat builder, you'll notice there's no switches on this dashboard because the whole system is controlled electronically by this sort of fly-by-wire system. There's also a couple of big Raymarine uh, GPS navigators. Also on this vessel, there is a Humphrey stabilizer and she comes with these proportional bow thrusters. So these aren't electronic bow thrusters, these are hydraulic. And effectively you can push the boat sideways and add the level of hold you want. You can hold the boat onto the pontoon. So if you're single-handed sailing, you can push the boat onto the pontoon, hold it against the pontoon, take all the mooring lines off come back in, release it off the pontoon, and then motor yourself out and away. Now, as I mentioned, this is very much a sea-going vessel, but equally, it has got a wine cooler. So the important things have been remembered. And the other thing I love is the wiper controls not, are not on the dashboard when they're out of reach, but they're down here, right by your right hand as you're going along. Bit more storage dotted around the place for maps and charts and bits and pieces lovely purposeful windscreen and each one with its own you'll notice stainless steel wiper if i take a big step back you'll notice there's a lovely open companion way down here which takes us past some of the audio system some of the trips and the generator control panel down into the galley dinette area so again you can have this exactly as you want on this particular variant we've got a very large almost domestic kitchen and this I love. So this is a motorboat, but it still comes with a gimbaled cooker. It gives you an indication of how much practicality this owner's built into this boat. So a lovely galley, very, very decent sized fridge down here. And I think if I'm right, this is a quokka hot and cold tap. So I think this tap produces hot boiling water as well as cold water. Combination microwave oven down there. And as you can see here, very decent size domestic drawer fridge in there and if I turn myself round you can see then there you go there is the downstairs dinette high low table so you can drop that down into a, another berth if you want to equally you could have your galley that side and then you can have a slightly smaller dinette here and then you can have a, a little mini aft cabin that sweeps back underneath the cockpit sole or the saloon sole sorry if you wanted to but as I say these are all built to your specification. So this is a single cabin layout. So if we move forward, so this is the owner's single cabin forward because this is what they've chosen to do. And you'll notice if we move right the way forward, that is your anchor locker. So in there is a little light so you can see and check on your anchor. Now if you're gonna spend the best part of a thousand pounds on anchor chain, you, <laughs> you might as well be able to see it. So a lovely cabin. I say you can have a center line berth here if you choose. This owner's chosen a V-berth, but you'll notice there's a big cushion there so you can infill that so it becomes a nice big berth. Lots of light coming in through those superstructure windows and the deck hatch here as well. And that comes with the single heads on board, which obviously has Jack and Jill access. So you can gain access from the forward cabin as we are now, but you'll also notice there's a second door over here, which gives you access back into the main deck area. Nice and bright and light with a shower plumbed in over there and again a nice to see a deck hatch so you can get the ventilation in. So there you go, engine wise 
you can again pretty much choose whatever you fancy this one's got cummins engines they generally tend to put yanmars in there were telling me but you can choose whatever engine options you like so you can even choose a flybridge i believe which i've not heard of not seen but there you go so there you go thank you very much to the guys at seawood marine i do hope you've enjoyed that tour i would ask you to do please like and subscribe thank you very much for watching and i look forward to seeing you next time round